PRC Saltillo is proud to present our 2022 AAC Literacy Planner Animal Talk. January's story is called Be Brave Little Penguin. You will find the lesson plan with everything you need to support reading the story Be Brave Little Penguin. Smart charts of the target words for Unity 84 sequenced and Lamp Words for Life full are included for communication partners. Find these words on your communication device as you read the story and talk with your communicator. Make sure to pause the video so you can talk about what's going on in the story. If you need a different language configuration, download our free PASS software from our website or use the Smart Chart Generator on the AAC Language Lab to make your own. The target words for this story are help, play, not, scared, and penguin. For an added bonus, you can teach the word brave and the plural S marker to make the word penguins. Begin your story by taking a picture walk. A picture walk is a great way to build background knowledge for your reader. Flip through a few of the pages and point out some of the vocabulary that might be new for your learner. Our story for this month is called Be Brave Little Penguin. It was written by Giles Andre and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Hmm, let's look at the pictures on the cover. How do you think that penguin feels? He looks scared to me. Let's take a picture walk and learn more. I see some penguins on this page. These guys look pretty happy. But this penguin does not look happy. Hmm. I wonder what he's thinking. I see more penguins. They like to play in the water. They look happy. Look at this little penguin. He does not look happy, does he? It looks like he's crying. I wonder what's wrong with him. Let's read the story, Be Brave Little Penguin, and find out. Be Brave Little Penguin. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins, short and tall. But little penguin Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. There's Pip-Pip. He is little. He's a little penguin. He does not look happy. And while the other penguins were out swimming, wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip-Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. All those penguins are playing in the water. They aren't very nice to Pip-Pip. He does not look happy. It looks like he's crying. He does not want to play in the water. He is scared. Has there ever been a time when you were scared? What's the matter, Pip-Pip, said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. And there's Pip-Pip. He looks scared, sitting there in his little ice house. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, 
dip your toes in here just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. His mom wants to help him. But what if the water's freezing? Mommy, what if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? Pip Pip is scared about monsters that might be in the water. I understand, little one, said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in the water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? His mom is trying to help him be brave. What are some things you do when you're trying to be brave? Take my hand, little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip-Pip. Be brave and never fear. Oh, his mom is going to help him. Do you think he's going to get in the water? He does not want to. He's scared. Poor Pip-Pip. But his mommy says, be brave. What do you think he's going to do? Slowly, Pip Pip made his way toward the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy and his small heart thumped. He closed his eyes. He held his breath, and little Pip-Pip is he going to be brave? Jump! Splash! He is not scared anymore. Look at his face. How do you think he feels? He's being very brave. For a while, his mommy waited. Then she cried out, something's wrong. Pip Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. So she leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly from nowhere came a little voice she knew. Now mommy is scared. Pip-Pip's mommy is scared that he is under the water too long. She does not know when he's going to come back up. Mommy, mommy, over here. Hey, mommy, look at me. I'm swimming, mommy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming. Can you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water, bright and clean, swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen. Gosh, look at Pip-Pip. He is not scared anymore. He looks like a happy penguin. And as she watched her little one, right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface and he soared into the skies. Now he likes to play in the water. How do you think he feels? He looks like a happy penguin to me. Woohoo! cried little Pip-Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly. It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy. Try. Oh, Pip-Pip, laughed his mommy. 
as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you've learned to swim. Now Pip-Pip likes to play in the water. He learned to be brave with the help of his mommy. Then his friends all gathered round as Pip-Pip landed with a bump and said, sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. Look at Pip-Pip, he is not scared anymore. His mom was a great help to him. Now he likes to play in the water and he learned to be brave and jump in. All the penguins can play in the water together. The end.